The V-2 rocket, the changed war, and the future of spaceflight, April 1945. Berlin is burning. The Third Reich is collapsing. But even as Soviet troops close in, Adolf Hitler's regime still believes one final weapon can change history. That weapon was the V-2 rocket, the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile. Designed by Werner von Braun and developed at Peenemünde on the Baltic coast, the V-2 first launched successfully on October 3, 1942. It was a technological miracle. It flew into space. It fell back to Earth at three times the speed of sound, and no defense system could stop it. Hitler ordered mass production in 1943. The rockets were built underground at the Mittelwerk factory, using prisoners from the Mittelbau Dora concentration camp. Over 20,000 forced laborers died building the V2, more than were killed by the rockets themselves. The first V2 struck London on September 8, 1944. Others soon hit Antwerp, Paris and Liège. By the end of the war, over 3,000 V2s had been launched. They carried one-ton warheads. They arrived without warning. People never heard the missile, only the explosion. But by 1945, Germany no longer had fuel, no factories, no air superiority. The V2 was unstoppable, but it came too late. In the final months of Nazi Germany, the V2 became history's cruelest irony. A weapon born from genius, built by slaves, militarily useless, but scientifically revolutionary. It failed to save the Third Reich, but it became the foundation of the modern space age. The final weapon of Nazi Germany became humanity's first step toward the stars.